What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a Swift UI drawer package that is reasonably popular that I've actually came across myself. It is pretty easy to integrate and lets you integrate a drawer without a lot of legwork. So we'll take a look at this very quick example. Start by dropping a like down below. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Let's open up Xcode, create a new project and dive right in. So we are going to work with a, whoops, that's not what we want to do. We want to create a new project. So let's try that one more time. We'll create a new project here and stick with the app template. Perhaps we'll call this drawer example and I'll toss it onto my desktop, save it wherever you'd like. And first things first, we'll hit this resume button to get our preview to show up. And we need to bring in the actual drawer package, obviously, to uh, use it within our application. So we'll be using Swift Package Manager. We can go to File, and we want to go to Add Packages, the third option here. At the top right, we can paste on in the URL for the repo, and we're just going to go off of the master branch. And we'll continue, and let's see what we get. It should resolve the latest version, like so hit add package and we should be in business. Let's jump back to our content view and talk about how to use this thing. So let me change the scheme here, the color scheme to dark mode since it's a little easier to visualize during a video and uh, hopefully it decides to update some sometime soon. There it goes. And let's bring in that drawer package by importing it and use it. So we're gonna import drawer. Now the premise of this is pretty simple. This type of drawer component is found in the native stocks app, within the weather app, uh, rather not weather, within the maps app, Google Maps, there's quite a few applications that leverage it. And um, I do have another video how to manually build it, though it does take a, quite a bit of legwork given different uh, phone sizes you gotta deal with, you know, you want it to snap to different heights based on the size, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll create a Z stack here. And for the sake of this video, maybe we'll have a scroll view in here to model uh, some content uh, in here. This would be, you know, the content behind the drawer. And let me also give this some padding and perhaps I'll toss this inside of a navigation view. Let's give this a title and perhaps we'll say drawer example and let's bring on in that drawer. So right below this scroll view, perhaps we want our drawer to show up. So what I'll do here is I'll simply create the drawer and we can pass in heights, which is a binding a collection of CG floats and a starting height. So we're going to disregard starting starting height. I believe if we don't provide it, it just takes the first uh, element that we provide in this binding. And then of course we have the view builder for the content. Let's just stick a color in here for now so we see something and then we'll uh, make it a little nicer. So up here we have a binding, which is a collection of CG floats. So I'll go ahead and uh, specify it up here as a state. Maybe we'll call it heights. And it is going to be CG float. We'll do 300 and CG float will do 100. Let's go ahead and fix these fonts. This should be CG floats. And we want to pass this in as dollar heights for our state to be passed down as a binding. And that's actually all you need to do to set up this drawer. Let's hit resume over here and we'll see a drawer pop up at the bottom. So let me actually change the device we're using here to something a little taller, a little easier to visualize. So maybe we'll switch to the 13 Pro Max, we'll go ahead and hit resume here. And once we actually get this uh, updated, looks like it's taken its time, we'll actually be able to drag this drawer as well. So it's a little bit laggy for some reason. Ah, there we go. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, zoom out in here just a smidge and we should be able to drag this drawer up and down like so. So the beauty of this drawer is the fact that not only can we easily snap to different heights, but of course we can design some content in here. And for some reason, my preview is decided to be a little slow and it won't let me actually zoom out. So we'll just switch to the iPod so it's fully in view here. Let's pause this live preview and make it a little bit more interesting. So perhaps in here we have another Z stack where we have the background as a color and we're gonna leverage a UI color I'll go with the secondary system background like that. All right, looking pretty good. Usually, uh, you know, in a drawer, we have something along the lines of a grab handle. So maybe we want a 
rounded rectangle with a background and that background color will be color.white and let's see where it uh, actually decides to show up so this actually needs to take in a corner radius if I'm not mistaken we'll go with 12 like so it's a little large we want to probably clean this up a little bit so let's create a frame modifier maybe we'll give it a width of 60 and a height of six or seven it works too and the alignment will be center here all right looking pretty good so we've got that pull handle there and let me actually change the order of these floats here. Maybe we'll start out with 100 and we can, uh, you know, pull up to get to 300. And you can see that it's essentially taking the first element in that binding that we pass in. Now, we, of course, want this uh, pull handle, this rounded rectangle to be at the topmost. So what I'll go ahead and do in here is specify a V stack and below the rounded rectangle, we'll have a spacer. That way we'll make sure to push it on up. We should add a little bit of padding. Now in reality, what you probably want to do is have another view right below uh, your pull handle. So this would be something along the lines of, well, maybe not content view since we already have that, but maybe I'll call this drawer content view. And here you would more or less put all the contents that you want to show up in this drawer. So for now, what I'll actually be doing in here is just toss in a, another V stack and we're going to toss in a text field in here just to illustrate what you can do with this type of setup. So maybe this will be search and this will be a binding for some text. Let's go ahead and create that up here and let's see if this actually renders. So Let's see if all our errors decide to go away. So let's see, we've got VStack, it can't find VST. So I think Xcode is just being a tad bit slow here. Let me pause this, give this a command B, all right. And it looks like it decided to update, beautiful. We'll go ahead and give this a run and we see our search field down there. Now obviously you would want to style this a little bit more. Perhaps we can give this a background color. We'll make it color dot. And maybe we'll do a UI color, UI color system gray. We'll make this like a nice gray five so we can actually see it a little better. Now, obviously a little bit thin, we'll add a little bit of padding on that. And yeah, I digress. So we can, of course, uh, build this and extend it to our heart's desire. But the beauty here, the thing that I really wanted to illustrate is the fact that it is extremely trivial with the drawer package available here on GitHub to integrate this drawer and get something up and running really easily. I've used this with not only uh, you know simple applications, but also with setups with tab bars, or you can have a drawer within a drawer and do some pretty wild things UX wise, if that is your goal, and it is a breeze to integrate. I'll be linking the repo URL down below. That's basically all I've got for you guys today. Start by dropping a like down below before you click away. Hit subscribe if you're new here and into iOS, Swift, Swift UI, and all things tech. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.